So do you ever contemplate anything just long enough to figure out somebody else has already found a solution for you? So for probably the last year or more, I've been contemplating putting some kind of a light inside my mailbox because a lot of times when I go to work, it's like 4.30 in the morning. When I get home from work, it's 8.30 at night. Or vice versa, if I'm working uh, the night shift, I go to work in 4.35 in the afternoon. I get home at 8 or 9 in the morning. And in the winter months, I can't see if there's anything in the mailbox. I want to open it up. Don't want to think someone stuck a mousetrap in there, even though we do have a locking mailbox. So I've been thinking about just getting a solar light and putting it on top of the mailbox and put the light part on the inside, but those things died fairly quickly. And uh, I live near a high school, and so somebody would see this solar cell on the top of the mailbox and, well, they would vandalize it, of course. So I'm shopping with the wife the other day at the Nothing is 99 cent store anymore, and I came across these things for five bucks at the 99 cent and up store. So I thought, you know what? This might actually work for my mailbox solution. So it tells you it's meant for closets and drawers, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, oh, look at that. Hey, I'm in California. What is this warning it wants to give me? Oh, cancer and reproductive harm. Okay, so probably it's trying to tell you uh, don't eat it and don't insert it some other place. So anyhow, I do have one of these open already and I took it out. I do have batteries loaded up into it at the moment. So it does have a little on off switch on one side. I should turn it around so you can actually see it. So if I turn the switch from off to on, you can see it does light up and it is fairly bright and it does come with this little magnetic doohickey. And if you get it close enough, it just turns the light off. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my mailbox and attach this to the door and attach this to the box portion of it so that as soon as I open the door, the light comes on. When I shut the door, the light goes off. So I have it in manual exposure. Let me put it back in auto magical. Alrighty, there we go, auto magical. And I'm actually going to take it down a little more so that you can see that there are actually six LEDs in here providing the light source. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and pop one of these apart. Let me enable auto magical exposure. Oh, and it's hunting. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's just go ahead and shut it to the off mode here. There we go. So I'm thinking I'm just going to try to take one of these apart. Um, does it have a read switch? Is that what they're using? I don't hear a click. That's the thing. It does come with um, some supposedly 3M double coated tissue tape. I didn't know that was a thing. And of course, yes, there is a cat living in my room. So I thought I would pull it apart and see what is inside of this thing. Like I said, I do have it preloaded with batteries, a couple of energizers, as opposed to the rotten top batteries that leak in the package at the store. So looking down inside this thing, I do see a tab, a tab, and a tab. So I'm wondering, take the Velcro off. I'm wondering if it's just clipped. I would certainly hope it's not ultrasonically welded. Well, yeah, it is trying to open. There we go. Now we got half of it open at least. And there is the other half. Oh, look at that. What are they using some kind of a just sensing transistor to figure out if there's magnetism nearby? Or is that sending out some kind of a radio frequency signal? to be absorbed by the, um, quote, magnet. I don't know. We'll have to pop this open, too, and see what is in there. Well, more double-coated tissue tape. Well, let me see if this board's going to pop out of, out of here uh, peacefully, and uh, we'll move forward. So I think I can push, 
possibly the tabs. No, can't push that one. Let me grab a little pair of needly nose. And I don't have this in manual exposure, do I? It looks a little dark to me, but no, it's in auto. So I will put it in manual exposure. Oh, and it just lifts that easily. Oh no, there is not a reed switch. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm not Big Clive, so I'm not going to reverse engineer this thing by any means. But I really thought there would just simply be a reed switch in there. So that's obviously the pickup device right there. And then back here on the back side, there's just a single switching transistor that probably turns on the power to the LEDs. There's a one megohm resistor right there. It looks like 105. Uh, let me enable the uh, auto magical, or excuse me, let me enable the macro zoom one moment. Okay, well that's much better. So we have a 3.9 ohm resistor for the, it looks like either supplier terminating side of the LED on that one. 3.9 uh, for that set of LEDs. So if you wanted to make it a little bit dimmer, you could take that 3.9 out and replace it with a 4.7 or a 10 ohm or 20 and it would make the LEDs a little bit dimmer and last longer. And like I said, there is the one meg resistor 6383, maybe eight. Let me try to pump up the exposure. Sixty three eighty three A is the number on that. Obviously, some type of Hall effect sensor, I would imagine. Battery terminals doesn't look too terribly bad for. Uh, Two for five bucks. Mm, the solder's kind of bodgy, but it'll get by, I guess. Little teeny tiny switch there. Bypass cap. Uh, let's see, A25HB on that one. Just a switching transistor. So yeah, pretty cool. So is there just a magnet in the other side? Uh, that's what I would like to know. Try to get a better zoom on that, 6383A, yes. Well, let's pop the uh, magnet portion apart. All right, let's see if this is gonna pop open. Oh, okay. Oh, pff, there it is. Oh, there is a magnet. It's pretty strong, might be a neodymium. Okay, well, that's all that's in there is a single magnet. And I'm wondering, does it matter which direction it goes? Nothing is actually marked on it, so I'm going to say no. So there's the two halves of the case. Well, I had a couple of questions about this thing. So what is the current draw when it's on and what is the current draw when the magnet is up against it and it's satisfied? So I thought I'd get out the 87 I have it in the milliamp mode. Um, it is set up to 60 milliamps max. So let's uh, go ahead and change that to 600. And I have a three volt power supply feeding into the unit. Let me turn it on. And look at that, we're at 99.9 .9 milliamps, 100 milliamps would be the current draw when this thing is satisfied or I should say when it's on. So if I put the magnet next to it here, it should shut off. I'm going to move this into the micro amp range. Oh, gotta get the right button, there we go. So I'm showing 11.8-ish micro amps. Let me go ahead and make sure this is accurate. I'll unplug it. And yes, it returns back to zero. So let's just go ahead and put this on min max. 
and then put it to average. That'll average everything out. So this is going to draw 11 microamps just sitting doing nothing. So my advice, if you have one of these and you're not going to use it and it's in an enclosed space, just turn the switch to off because I would imagine that's going to take it down to zero. If I can switch it without it turning on. There we go. Yes, off is actually zero, zero. There is on. So yeah, about, about 11, 11 to 12 million or uh, microamps just idling. All right, well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the teardown on this thing. And so I looked at the uh, energy consumption of this 12 microamps and did a little bit of math based on a claimed 1000 milliamp hour alkaline battery. And I think it came up to like 86,000 hours of use at 12 microamps, which would be almost 10 years because there's uh, 8,760 hours in one year. So yeah, pretty doggone good just in the standby mode, only 11, well, I, I put in 12 microamps. So yeah. So I'm going to throw this in my mailbox when time allows, and we'll see how this does. Remember, do not mix old and new batteries. Do not mix alkaline standard carbon zinc or rechargeable batteries together. Anyhow, that's it. Just a quick little video on the Bright Basics at the 99 cent and up store. It was five bucks. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, well, there it is installed in the mailbox. And as I close it, the light goes off. Hopefully you can hear me. As I close it, the light goes off. As I open it, obviously the light goes on. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Check, check, check. One, two, three. Check, check, check. And uh, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and install this in my mailbox. Bright Basics 2-Pack Closet and Drawer Automatic Light. Not bad. I mean, the build quality is pretty doggone good. And of course, don't eat these or insert these somewhere. All right, well, certainly hope you enjoyed the little review on this. Everybody have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.